morning. Hello and welcome to dry South Yorkshire. Um, today I think we're gonna get drilling. That's the that's the plan anyway. We're gonna get the power harrow on. I'm gonna get well the drill's already on, and um, we're gonna get doing that. But first we've got to feed these cows and bed them down. So the sun's shining into the shed. And um, I'm going to be on the TM actually this morning. Look at this, this is what we got delivered yesterday. So this is maize meal. So we grow maize and we forage it. Somebody's grown it and combined it. And then it's been um, smashed up. And it's a great feed for cattle. We're only going to be putting a little bit of that in. Um, it's uh, just working out. A little bit better price to barley at the minute. So we're going to put some of that in. Right. Uh, yeah, let's jump on here. Yeah, I'm off around with the TM. Just feeding everywhere at the minute. Woo -hoo -hoo, it's lovely and sunny. Yeah, I'm feeding everywhere out. Um, Noah's just putting on the straw blower. Because I had the 130 on the rollers last night. And then we're going to start bedding them down feeding into these big old concrete troughs I need to get another bucket I think we're right now everywhere it's looking really really nice in this sunshine isn't it look at the look at that pink on that tree beautiful what I have learned with these troughs is because we've got gates on it it's not perfect we have to leave a gap around the girder it's a bit different being on the 130 and having no loader on. It's a nimble little beast now. Not having that front end sticking out. Well, we're proper getting on with it this morning. Me and Noah, it is 10 to 9. We've got the feeding done. Uh, we've got a bit more strawing to do. We're going to do a mix and then um, we need to drop the mixer off so we can get the power harrow on. Well, that's these guys skipping and jumping and happy. I think Mick must have a different watch to us. It's an hour slow. <laughs> He's here though. How we doing? A bit tired. <laughs> Has it been a long week? It's been a shocking week, mate. Has it? Not just at work. Not work. Fucking at home. Oh. We, do you want to talk about it off camera? No. No. <laughs> Your sisters, assholes. <laughs> That's what it is, mate. Assholes. No better than family, is there? Worse. Um, when, it, when it comes down to money, mate, greed. That's what it is, greed, eh? Nasty people. Sorting these guys that are outside with plenty of straw. Well, if me don't say it, I mean, um, yeah, it's. Uh, can always be a struggle, can't it, with families? Not just in farming, outside of farming as well. Coming to look at new beasts then? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brand new? Can't get newer? Kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Very good, isn't it? We were leaking yesterday, like, but... I mean, leaking, <laughs> No, just, just like, little, a little bit. So, just been out to put the pipes on. Doing a look in full beast mode. Um, although, it's getting a bit dusty now. Oh, well. They don't stop clean for long here. Let me look at this. They don't stop clean for long here. Mix on it. Opening gates, can you hear him? <laughs> Thinks he's John Wayne. Uh, this is the first time I've took this machine in here. Will it fit in with the big tyres? It gets a bit closer though. Yeah, we've got it in here. So make sure that we've got no heads in. Let go. Let's get out of here. Get you guys happy. Right, so what we're going to do now is move stuff around, get my drill filled up with some barley and um, get a pre-mix done, then we can drop that off, get the, get the, uh, oh come on Joe you can think of it, 
power harrow that's it that's what we need we'll get the power harrow on we'll be away then so just shoveled here out the trailer into the bucket and then we can auger it into the uh, drill oh, puffed out now really need to get set off but i'm having to get this off to straighten it because you bent it that much when you were drilling the other day i've been getting a bit of mystery aren't we mick you do well boy you do well you were additional additional uh anti-vibration device weren't you well it goes at weight the weight yes uh, we've just been battering it hammer we hit out of breath like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one at other sides a little bit bent in but it's just gonna have to wear uh, just gonna have to wait. It'll not, it'll not make much difference that one at that side. Drill, just need a new drill. Anybody wants to donate a new drill? That'd be lovely. Can't hear anybody saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, Noah's got the power harrow on. And uh, I'm just gonna wash my hands and then get off drilling. So they're getting fueled up. I'm full of seed. It's time to go. Where are you going, you said, mate? Yeah, there's a the video. Good. There's a monkey one here, then. <laughs> Uh, you off to a wedding tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Or a wedding do thing. Yeah. Business. Yeah. Will that cheer you up a bit? No, because I'm working tomorrow. Oh. I'm all right. Good. Oh, I thought I'm mad. <laughs> can I watch a video? Well, I can leave you in peace. I'm going now, though. I'm not going to see you. Why? If I, ca if I can How long going to be? I don't know. It might be late. That's why I'm trying to rush these along. But um, if I can take you to that wedding, I'll take you. I'll try it, yeah. So, walk it yourself. Right, cheery bye, dilly dilly. Dilly. Right, I'm gonna start in this uh, field here, side at Scrapyard, because the first bit is really light land, so I'll just do that with the press and the drill, and then those guys are gonna power harrow some in front in a different field where it's a bit stronger. And uh, yeah, get some seed in the ground for once. Got to the field, we're just taking out the um, furrow here. Look at all this fly tipping. Disgusting, isn't it? The reason that I'm going over this first is because of such a dip. So we'll try and pull the power arrow through it just to level it out so that all year I'm not bouncing up over it. Um, if the field drills all up like that, I'll be fairly happy. Um, I'm not putting any seed on at the minute. But yeah, I, I think there's going to be some wet patches, but we might just get it in. So we're stitching this in to what we were at the side of last time. So it'll just meet up as though it's one field at the top of here, which would be nice. So I've done my marking out. So that's two runs away from where the Edland tram line's going to be, so I'll know when to lift in and out. And I've got my straight going. I've also been over to the pole over there, and I've um, marked it so that when I'm spraying, it should just either just miss the pole or just literally just touch it. So it'd be happy spraying up and down in here. Giving a check now that seeds coming out of all. So I think I'll do all the short runs for Ben because basically I'm getting this set up for him and then um, yeah then he's going to take over and I'm going to go and go spraying. I don't know why he's had to drive the pickup into the field, that's not cool. Like we don't have cars in the field, even if it's dry. So I'm driving up here, I know that wherever there's a wheel in, uh, where I can see that wheel, that means I've got to have my drill down. So we'll go a bit further and then we'll drop in and we'll take them out. There we go. Cars are um, bad for like compacting the soil. So obviously we've got tractors, we've got big tyres and they're spreading the weight. Um, they're also a certain width, so when we go down the tram line, they're all the same set width. Now, the pickup is completely different, so um, it'll just make some 
lines where we don't need lines, so that's why we don't want cars, we want bikes, squad bikes, so like that. Um, it just, just, yeah, it just uh, damages the soil and it doesn't look, it doesn't look right. It's, you know, I'm trying to do this perfect so it looks like a really job well done, but then when you get something given over it, it's just spoiled it a bit, so yeah, I think. Oh, there's only farmers who really appreciate the, the frustration uh, of seeing some tracks across your field. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it grinds my gears a bit. It does. So here we have a little pink um, lunch bag. Looks like it's been his two dogs into my tractor as well. Fantastic. It says that. Uh, Kids have got the jumpers out in the field in the barley, spring barley. Play a pump one. Uh, it's not been horrible for a while, you just have to play it. Costing people money. Um, Damaging the crop, but uh, there's loads of parks around. There's loads of parks. The kids that were playing football in the field there, that's the playing field there. Huge good balls, everything. No one playing. <laughs> yeah, no. You see white balls. Football balls. Yeah. Jeez. We're just going up here, finishing off these little bits. We'll get back in the straight runs. I think we'll go and we'll put a tram line in at that side so we know where we're working to. Then we'll go down to this other field, set you off with an AB line, and then it should just be hassle free then. Hello? Hello? No. No, it's on. The power hour and the 210 working that down. So we're set off in here now, and it's a little bit probably just touching on being a bit too wet in here. It's all right, it's not bad. It's drier as we get away from edge. We just stay something. Right, I'm gonna leave Ben to it and his dogs feel confident okay. last time you were doing this field drilling this field where um, day, after day after your stag do you weren't here. I weren't here because Becky were giving birth <laughs> so he's feeling a lot better than last time so I think what we might do is get the drone up and uh, capture him getting some done Putting the tram lines in now, so that's why those markers are going at the back. Probably in the way. Oh, we've left the flashing lights on. Um, we'll get the drone up.
a tree that's come down the side of the field so when we come with the JCB later we'll uh, we'll push that up but right I'm gonna get back to the farm now and see what we can do there looks like I've got to put his chair away for him right so we're gonna take Ben some seed now and then we're gonna go out with the sprayer I think so we've given the TM's windows a bit of a clean to walk the road and um, we'll go in find Ben and put this seed in. So we've got here with the TM and the seed delivery vehicle. And we'll get the seed dropped out and put it into Ben. Who's just doing his first AB line on that right hand side. And then hopefully we'll get this bush moved. Just depends how much seed I've got left in bucket. You can't get that top link on the front any shorter. It could just do with it really. To pull those tines up. Do we a shorter top link getting? And disappears behind the tree. Ben's gonna back up most of the way. Cause the bib load small tires that we've got on here are just gonna compact the ground. Whereas he's on the massive, massive tyres, which I've got a lot lighter footprint, even though it's probably a heavier machine. Right, so we'll get this in now, it says. Right, well, I've got a bit of seed left in the bucket. Not, not enough to come out if I drop the bucket off, but I've got to move that. I can't push it with a bucket or else we're going to get leaves and all sorts in there. I'm going to try it with a headstock, hopefully. This works. So I've got to try and do this without ripping any pipes off. Might be possible. He says. It might be. It's only a might though. So there is potential to destroy some stuff on the headstock. Which wouldn't be good because it's sat down. The hydraulic shop shut. There we go, that's a bit better anyway. Right, I am on the 6930 now. We're going to get off spraying the field now. Light it bit. Um, we're just going around the outside with the sprayer. This is the wheat. And then we've also got the little bits of. Um, Dug, in, dug out places which we've planted spring barley into. Um, so I'm getting this sprayed first because we need to spray it before the spring barley comes up in them patches or we'll end up killing it with this spray. It's the pheasant there, looking all proud as punch. That's it, we're off. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, we've messed up. Um, so the, the boom section is called that end, there's a little pipe. See a little pipe that's on top there? It shouldn't be like that. And it's caught that tree. Which is driver error, but the pipe shouldn't be exposed. I think when somebody's put it back together, it should be like at that end. Tucked in. Yeah, all tidy so that if something hits it it just breaks back but it's hit the pipe and it's snapped it off so it's a fold up and go home job uh, see if we've got any of them nozzle bodies I don't think we have so this is the bit that's broke right at the end the plastic's still in there it's dripping, just dripping a little bit out right on end there Right in there. So, um, most farm machinery are closed. Um, so I can't just go and get a part until Monday, which is an absolute nightmare. So I thought, you know what? My mate Jim at Cowgills has got the same sprayer, but it's a bit bigger. It's, it's bigger and fancier. But it's the same make. And I just rung him and says, have you got this little thing? <laughs> sent me a picture of a nozzle body. I'm like, no, it's not that. Then he sent me, I sent him the video, and he's like, I've got one. Fantastic. That means we don't have to wait until Monday to get spraying. I can get this off and um, get it fixed today, 
And if I don't get out today, at least I can get some done tomorrow. What? Yeah, it's great having friends in farming who run similar like kit um, and have spares. I suppose I should have spares, really. That's what, that's what you know, we should take from this. But I've not. I've got a gym. Right, so I better go and get this spare part. Get on our way. Back and Womersley have, have just delivered us some more cattle in the Scania Beast. So they're getting back on their way now. Right, so seed in. <coughs> Let's um, get to field side. Ben wants some seed now. <sighs> like, it's not, it's not turning into a good day. I've still got to fix that sprayer as well. I've still got to feed up. I think that's my next job after this. Like, spraying can wait, the cattle. The cattle can't. So, feed up the cattle and uh, then fix the sprayer. It'll be a late one tonight. So today's mixer mention is a happy birthday to Peter Statton, who's been watching for a long time, watching the videos. Um, happy birthday to you, Peter. If anybody else wants to get their name in the video, then there's a link in the description below. We're trying to raise a bit of money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. We've already raised over eight and a half thousand pounds for him, which is fantastic. But um, yeah, let's just try and beat that. Let's get to 10,000 at some point. That, that would be an ultimate goal. But um, I think this is probably where I'm going to leave the video because I've got to get that out, take that seed down to Ben and um, just, uh, yeah, then I've got to fix the sprayer, get out with that. Maybe I'll do a live. If you subscribed, you will get a notification on that and, um, and yeah, you can join in and ask questions and what have you and it'll just be a bit easier for me because I think I'll have to upload, like get this compiling and uploading or it's just going to go out at like 10 o'clock tonight so um yeah day's not over but the video is thanks for watching guys i massively appreciate everyone who's comments press the like button and yeah and as subscribed and yeah he gets me opportunities that i never thought was ever possible so massive thanks to everyone who watches right anyway that's enough for me babbling i'll see you later thanks for watching bye